Let me show you quickly how you can host your website for free on Cloudflare. But before we get started, this is a side note. You can only host a static website on Cloudflare. If you have a dynamic website or website that has database, I'm sorry, you have to get a regular hosting for this. But if you are building a portfolio website, website that has only HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript, this video is for you. So to get started, create an account on Cloudflare, right? I have an account with them already. So I'm going to log in to Cloudflare. Here I am inside Cloudflare. After creating an account with them, after creating an account with them, log in and inside your dashboard, you see this plus, click on it and click on existing domain. Okay. So when you click on existing domain, it will take you to a page like this. Enter your domain here. Screw and click on continue. Cloudflare is going to scan for any existing DNS records. So wait patiently. Scroll down. And we're going to pick their free plan and click on continue. Scroll down. And the following are existing DNS records. Let's ignore them and come here and click on continue to activate. Okay. Because my website, I already have this domain connected in one of my C panels. Okay. That's where you're seeing this, but your case might be different. So just click on continue. Scroll down. Cloudflare is going to give you their name service. So copy your first name server. Go to your domains provider and navigate to name servers. Okay. In my case, I'm using Makigo host as my domains provider. And then we're going to update this. So paste and then come back here, copy the second name server. And we're going to update this. And then I'll click on update name servers and wait and name servers updated successfully. Go back, scroll and click on continue. So you have to wait patiently for and click on check name service now Wait for like five hours. Sometimes this thing can take up to 24 hours to update. Just wait patiently. And when everything is updated, you see this, this will turn to green. Okay. Now let me show you the website we're going to be hosting on Cloudflare. This is a web, the website we're going to be hosting on Cloudflare. It's a pure HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript website. When I click, it takes me to my HTML pages. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I want you to navigate to where you have your project files. Okay. You know, your website comes with these files. So I'll go inside and make sure you select everything. So control A and we're going to compress or zip and I'll name it my project. So I'll put my project, my project and I'll click on create. Okay. So this is the one we're going to be uploading to our y Cloudflare. Come back and we're going to wear Cloudflare again. Go to Cloudflare. You can continue reloading this page to see if you get that um, green score. All right. So that's it. Right now, Cloudflare is now managing our domain name. So, and you see this green uh, congress or great news message. It means you did a great job. On this page, let's go back. Make sure you're on the home. Okay. On the home. You should see your domain name here. Okay. So on this interface, scroll down and where you see compute workers, click on the drop down and click on workers and pages. Click on pages, scroll down and we're going to upload our website assets here. Take note, this file should be in HTML, CSS and 
javascript so i'll click on upload assets and i'm going to give my project a name so you can enter your website name here just enter your website your domain name i'll simply copy my domain and i'll paste here if you don't have a domain name all right let's remove the dot xyz or the dot com this is going to serve as a free link or domain name for your host or for your website okay if you don't have a custom domain name but i'm going to show you how to add custom domain name so that users will go to your website name.com or dot org instead of this ugly url so after entering your website name there do enter dot com just enter only the, the website name and click on create project After that, scroll down and click on select from computer. Now, what I'm going to do is because I'm using, um, in your case, you have to navigate to this part of the screen, but I'm going to copy it and I'll come here. When I click on select and click on upload zip, I'll see that here. Okay. This is uh, a feature on Opera Mini. Click on it and it's going to upload the files inside our zip we're going to wait patiently for these files to get uploaded so wait patiently okay so all our files have been uploaded successfully scroll down and click on deploy site after that Click on continue to project. Now on this page, click on custom domain and click on set up a custom domain. We're going to enter our domain name here and we'll click on continue. Good job. Now scroll down and click on activate domain. Wait patiently for this initialization to complete and this can also take up to 24 or 48 hours all right for this to complete so it's verifying we have to still wait for this to turn to active all right so it has turned to active let's check our website and there we have it we now have our website hosted on Cloudflare for free with Cloudflare's technology. All right. Our contact form will not work because this hosting provider or Cloudflare doesn't have um, database functionality for us to do this. Okay. So you have to do your own extra work maybe you display your contact information on your page so this is a good solution for those of you who are I guess who want a simple place to host your static website like a portfolio website without paying a dime you can do that for free but if you want to have database functionality you have to get a regular hosting for that if you want to have something like wordpress shopping website or whatever website you think will have dynamic content then you have to get a shared hosting or a hosting environment and not this free hosting now if you want to build your own web hosting business okay if you want to start your own hosting service where people can come buy domain names from you other hosting packages dns management id protection buy ssl certificates watch this video next because in that video i explained everything you need to know about starting a hosting business from a to z hoping to see you there thank you and take care